when you're a mom, mornings are hectic, they are chaotic. So yes, I do wake up at 4 a.m., but don't come at me. I'm not saying that you have to do this. I'm just saying it's something that I do. Now I do go to bed insanely early because I do wake up insanely early. So if you stay up late at night, like it's kind of the same thing, right? This morning, I'm just gonna take you through my morning and we're gonna talk about like tips and hacks that I have on being efficient and getting six kids out the door. Now I forgot that I was out of cereal, so I gotta make breakfast this morning. We're gonna take out some sausage and we're gonna make some eggs and sausage and some breakfast sandwiches, super easy. At this point, I've already been awake for an hour. I don't show like me working like my YouTube videos and just random stuff like that. That's usually what I do in the first hour, but I am taking my pre-workout and then I'm gonna do my own workout downstairs. I'm not gonna show you that either. Then I get done with my workout and this kid was actually awake. So here we are, he gets to join me for my protein shake after I work out. I always have protein and I always have collagen every single morning. If I have frozen spinach, I throw that in there too. And he makes me share because he loves it. So if you are ever looking for time, like, oh, I don't have time to work out, you gotta pretty much wake up early in the morning when you have this many kids to get any sort of workout in, uninterrupted anyway. And then I'm just gonna start these English muffins. They were already in my freezer. I just have to put them into the oven to warm up. And then this kid nurses for, I don't even know, for a very, very long time, every single morning. So probably close to 30 to 45 minutes he nurses. And then I jump in the shower, not gonna show you that either, and I start warming up the sausage. A lot of the ways that I get so many things done in the morning is I'm doing things that are either slow moving and just require a lot of hands off time like this. I can put the sausage on the pan and then I can walk away for 10 minutes before I flip it. So I put it on the pan and then I come, I don't know if this is legit or not, but I open my sheets. I heard that that yeah. helps to like cool it off so you don't get as many bed bugs and stuff. I don't know if that's true, but I heard it once and I follow it. So I don't make my bed right away. I open the sheets go get dressed, do other random things, and then if I have time, I'll come back and I'll actually make the bed. I don't do it every morning. As you can see, I'm going to be walking through the kitchen and I'm just able to quickly flip the sausages and keep on with my business. Then I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna get clothes for the boys. This little hack I love, you can fit five outfits in there. It's, I mean, after I do laundry, I'll put each boy gets five outfits, done for the week. I don't have to think about what they're gonna wear. I can just grab and go. I don't have one for the baby yet, so he just has one drawer of clothes. He doesn't have a lot of clothes, and I just grab his. Because we are going to be out and about, I am trying to look for something a little bit matchy. But normally, I mean, it's hot, it's summer, he's in the diaper when we're at home. And then I have to come back downstairs, and I'm just checking on these English muffins to see if they're done. So when I warm them up, I just put bake, and then I bring it to like the lowest setting on my oven and just let it preheat. These have been going for probably close to an hour at this point, I guess, but it's nice because I don't really have to think about it. Here we go. I've got some time to actually take care of myself. So I'm just going to do my hair and put on some makeup and I'm basically ready for the day after that. Now tell me, whenever you're doing your hair or makeup, do you have a toddler that does this? Because this happens every single morning. Lights go on, lights go off. Lights go on, lights go off. Normally this is gonna be something that I do before, like right away when I wake up, I'll switch laundry over. But we got a new dryer and it is the loudest thing in the world. It wakes up everybody when it's done. So I have to wait a little bit farther in the morning now to get laundry switched over. But I always start a load to go through the washer every single night before I go to bed. Now it seems like I'm doing a lot of work here for breakfast, but I'm really not. I threw the sausage on the pan, I flipped them once, and now I'm taking them off the pan. I threw the English muffins into the oven and they've kind of been doing their thing this whole time. After this, I'm just gonna start the eggs and the eggs only take a few minutes. So yes, it does take a long time, but it's so much hands-off time that it, I don't know if it actually counts. So really all you gotta do is when you wake up, think like right away what needs to happen and just kind of be ahead of schedule if possible. Like for instance, whenever I go somewhere, I always plan to be there 10 to 15 minutes before it starts. So that way if I'm running late or we have to stop and go potty or whatever the case may be, I'm not late. So here we go, this is breakfast. I cut the sausage in half for this kid because they don't really like the sausage, but this is what it looks like. Now don't come at me. Yes, I let my, have, I let my kids have their iPads in the morning. I've really, I used to not, I tried not to, but it really does make the mornings go so much more smooth, so much less chaotic, and I don't even feel bad about it anymore. I don't always sit down and eat with kids. A lot of the times I'm just grabbing bites as I'm running through rooms. This morning, nobody's fighting. We're not in too much of a hurry. I'm able to sit down and actually eat a hot breakfast. Now,
now it's time to go wake up the sleepiest of them all because it's time for her to get ready for gymnastics. Gotta leave in like 35 minutes. Now a lot of this stuff I'm going to skip because there's a lot of naked babies running around and me changing kids. But this is the time where I'm getting all the little kids ready. They've eaten their breakfast. I do not get them dressed before they're done eating or before they've, they are done eating. So after they're done eating, then it's time to get changed. Look at my face. I see it. It's so dirty. We need to clean it. Once all the little kids are dressed, all it takes is some baby wipes to clean their faces. We gotta brush their hair, brush their teeth, just kind of make sure that they're presentable before we head out. Oh, I just got a little bit. Bless you. Can't see. How do you look now? Yeah, uh, yeah. All right. This is probably the longest part of getting out the door is brushing all the little kids' teeth, making sure the girls' hair is done. This probably takes us about 20 minutes between all the little boys and the girls. Now the girls, sometimes they will brush their hair and do their own hair, but usually for gymnastics, I just do it just to make sure it's a little more tight and doesn't fall out quite as soon. Let me see. Hannah, Once everybody's hair is done, their teeth are brushed, I just go through the house and I pick up random things. A lot of the times I will tell the kids to pick up random things, wipe tables, assuming that they're ready to go when they're just laying there on their screens. If they are still busy, I won't make them. We had some sock issues this morning. The socks just weren't fitting right, so we had to go get another pair of socks. Pretty much the exact same socks, and now apparently they fit just right. So that was just an added two to three minutes of my morning, but it got done. After that, it is time to fill up the million amounts, the million, the million amounts? All of the water bottles that I have. There's so many water bottles, but I bought this thing at the Target Dollar Spot that fits six water bottles and it helps me carry them. And then I also fill up like a half a gallon jar thing. You'll see it here in a little bit. Because I don't want any kids to stop me at, when we're driving and be like, hey, I'm thirsty. We all have waters. We have extra water. I don't need to stop at a gas station. And while I'm doing this, I'm also like talking to the girls. You can't really hear, but they're like, where is this? Where is this? And I'm just telling them exactly where it is. I, it's pretty much always in the same spot. They should know it, but it's just going to happen. Every single morning, I got to tell everybody where everything is, and that's just the way it is. And this is the part where chaos, like, normally just takes over. We're trying to get out the door. People are panicking because they don't have their shoes, or they can't find their shoes, or the shoes aren't fitting, or the socks are getting weird again. There's always something. But this morning actually went really smooth, so we are out the door pretty fast. Once we get outside and I have to start loading everybody up, this takes a good five to ten minutes depending on how much wrestling I have to do with the kids. But we got to get all the water bottles in. We've got to get three of the kids need help getting buckled. It just takes a long time. So usually I just have some kids just play for a little bit while I'm getting everybody buckled. Obviously this isn't going to work when you live in town and stuff or if you're at like a public place. But if you can, let the kids just play for a little bit. It helps a lot. It keeps the arguments and the fighting down. And then once we're in the car, I still let the kids watch their iPads the entire time while we're riding. It usually takes us a good 40 minutes to go to almost anywhere that, that we have to be. So this just keeps fighting down. They can watch their own shows. Nobody's fighting over what we're listening to. And it has been a godsend. Um, I've got a first aid kit in the car. So once we get there, obviously everybody's got to get unbuckled and it is honestly quite a show just to do that. We're always spilling stuff out of the car, but this time somebody cut their fingernail and so we had to jump in the back and get a band-aid on that before we could head into gymnastics. And then I do have a backpack that I keep in the car at all times. It's got just random activities for the boys and one of the girls to do for when we are in places like this, plus they have the iPads. So for a little while, they'll be able to watch. So they'll munch on some like trail mix or just little snacks that I have. And then we have random cars. We have Legos. We have coloring books. There's all sorts of just random things like the McDonald's toys that you get. I will throw in those bags. Just little things that'll just keep them occupied because their attention span lasts about 10 minutes with each activity. I need numerous things because we are at this gymnastics four hours twice a week. So if I can't get a babysitter, I need a lot to do. 
And then sometimes when the weather is nice and they have behaved well, they do get rewarded with something like a trip to the park. Um, this, this park has like a lake and just random little fun things for us to do. So because they did so good this day, they got to go to the park for an hour afterwards. And obviously that's good for me too because it helps wear them out and provides a very quiet ride home. So I hope seeing this morning and kind of just these random things that I do, it's a lot of thinking ahead, a lot of just like random, how can I keep the kids fed? How can I keep them busy? And that is exactly how I run my life. So hopefully these tips helped. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. Bye.